everyone, my name is Tiffy. I am so excited for today's video because we are gonna be trying Gwen Stefani's makeup brand, Give. That is how it's pronounced, even though it doesn't look like that. It released earlier this March, and I am just super excited to try it out because I used to love No Doubt growing up. I think at one point I actually had spider webs as my voicemail. <laughs> yeah, I was that girl. So yeah, I've been looking forward to trying out her products and her makeup line, and I bought six different products today. We're gonna be doing a full face, technically five, because I have two lipsticks, we're gonna choose one. But the cool thing about this brand is that they're cruelty-free and vegan. And they come in little cases just like this. I'll show you everything we got. Uh, but I don't know, there's something that I appreciate about the minimalist design uh, with, you know, it just feels very earthy, like it's being a little more conscious of printing and inks and, you know, it's recyclable. Let's go over what we actually got. So we have the IC in color multi-dimensional eyeshadow. We got two different colors of the high performance matte lipstick original me. And we have the colors lovable me and tragic me. We also got the new bubble pop electric high performance lip gloss. And we got this one in all my love. We got the hella on point ultra brow pencil. And we got the line it up 24 hour gel pencil in the color Bathwater. All right, I think I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm pretty excited to try this out because I have never tried an eyebrow pencil. Normally I just use like the pomade. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little bandana inside. Ooh, the golds. Gold and white. All right, so I think is this, yeah, that's to crank it. This is what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> it's not a crank, it's an actual brush okay i like that a little spoolie not that my brow hairs will stay because they are a mess okay let's see how i like this pencil okay i actually really like using a pencil. This might be a new thing for me. All right, one eyebrow down. I actually really like it. I like drawing on the individual hairs. Let's do the other side. Okay, I might've went a little overboard with the brows. This is too much fun, it's dangerous. We'll have to wait to see till we get the rest of the makeup on. Let's continue with the eyes and do the eyeshadow next. This actual palette is called Rich Girl. Here is what it looks like and we open it up. Beautiful colors. We got Better Than Gold, Hollywood Mansion, First class, nothing but love. I seriously love the neutrals in this palette. Mm, what colors do we wanna go for? First off, I'm gonna put a primer. This is just the 24 hour Smashbox primer. This is my favorite one so far. I think I'm gonna do a mixture of Hollywood Mansion and first class, or actually better than gold. Ooh, it's pretty. Blend that out. Let's try a little bit of first class on the corners. Oh, that's pretty. I love this color. I'm really liking these colors. It reminds me of like a butterfly wing for some reason. Okay, let's do this to the other eye. Okay, both eyes are done. I think we need some liner. So the liner I got is Bathwater, which is blue. I think it will look nice with like the orangey tones, kind of, you know, contrast it nicely. Okay, let's open this. I just fucked that up. No. I ruined the tip. Whoops. Okay, it's sharpened. I'm excited for this one because it has a little shimmer to it and it's supposed to be a 24 hour gel. So let's see how pigmented it is and if it actually lasts long. Ooh. Whoa, it is 
so pigmented. Okay, I need both hands to apply this, so. Be right back. Okay, this is amazing. This is definitely a product for those people with brown eyes. Oh my god. I'm in love. Okay, I will say one thing. It is very pigmented. I love it. It goes on smoothly, easy to apply, but a little too easy. <laughs> it's one of those products that you will go through quickly because the actual, um, the actual stick is... Maybe because it's a hot day today. It's like 100 degrees today, but it it's very soft. If that makes sense. I normally don't use pencil eyeliner, so I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm not experienced enough in that, but uh, I literally just got some all over my hand. <laughs> and well, the good thing is it doesn't come off. So there's that. But I will say that I do really like it. Um, it does have that really bright blue color, which sometimes with blue eyeshadow you can it looks a little greenish. But this one definitely achieves the blue, which is amazing for brown eyes. And can we just appreciate that it's called bath water? Just singing the song while I'm applying it. You own bath water, love to think that you could love another. I can't remember, was Line It Up an actual song too? I feel like it, I feel like it was. Line it up. Am I making that up? <laughs> it's been a while since I've pulled out my Gwen Stefani CDs. I legitimately have a CD. All right, I'm liking the way I'm feeling. I'm coming to life, but we need some lipstick. And I have two different colors here. I am, I don't know what I'm feeling. I normally go for the pinkish, but I'm kind of feeling the more like neutral color. Let's get them out and check them out. Ah, oh, so pretty. I love it. I was not expecting that. I just love gold. <laughs> so, you know, gold with the white and the black. It's just so sleek. I do love me a nice little package. Beautiful. Okay, hold up. The reveal. Oh, that is beautiful. This one is tragic me. Can we just appreciate how matte and gorgeous that looks? And then we got lovable me. Ooh, it's not as pink as I was expecting. Both of these colors look pretty similar, so I think I could get away with using both of them. Oh yeah. That is so pretty. Ah, I love it. This color is gorgeous. The actual lipstick has like a very soft smell to it and it goes on so smooth. Let's do the lovable me on the bottom. So very subtle differences from the top to the bottom. To be honest, you can probably just buy one of the two instead of buying both colors like I did. But if, you know, to each their own, sometimes you wanna be a little pink and sometimes you wanna be a tiny bit neutral. And honestly, if you didn't know that there were two different colors, you probably couldn't even tell the difference. But I do love how smooth it goes on. It is very moisturizing. I'm not sure if it's going to dry, because it feels like it is still, yeah, still wet. I just mixed the two colors, whoops. We'll let it dry and then we'll do a little test to see if it comes off. While we're letting it dry, I'm gonna do a little more to my eye makeup. I'm gonna grab Nothing But Love and we're just gonna put a little bit of that where my shadow for my eyelashes are. Gorgeous. Okay, now let's see if the lipstick actually comes off. It does. Just a little bit. Now we're just gonna top off the lipstick with Bubble Pop Electric Gloss. This one is All My Love. It does have a color to it, so I'm gonna do a little test on my hand here, but we're just gonna put it on top of the lipstick. I really cannot get over how clean and simple the look is of the brand, and I just, I love it. I don't know, maybe I just like this font. <laughs> All right. Mm. 
Here is the lip gloss. Ooh. Let's just put it over our lipstick. Hmm. It is pretty similar in color to our lipstick, so. You all know me, I like to smell test things. It smells like chocolate vanilla. I wish it smelled like bubble gum. Let's do a little test on my hand. Well, that is very, very colored. Pigmented, excuse my language. I think that will look really nice on without the lipstick. But here's the lip gloss. I love that it's not tacky, feels very lightweight. You can definitely wear it with the lipstick underneath, but I just wanted to try it together. And there you have a complete look. Tonight I'm gonna give you all my love in the backseat. Bubble up electric. <laughs> Come to me, drive-in movie. <laughs> Overall, I really do like all of the products. I may be a little biased because I do love me some Gwen, but I don't know, it's fun just to, you know, some of that you used to listen to their music growing up and just to see them blossom and grow throughout the years and then now to have a makeup brand is just really awesome. And especially because she had fun with it and named a lot of her products after her songs. <laughs> it's just, it's fun. Like I literally am singing the songs while I'm putting on the makeup. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. What do you think of the look? Hmm? Now, if I had to choose one product that I absolutely love from this line or from what I tried, it'd have to be the lipstick. I'm a fan of it. And I think that would be a really good everyday lipstick. I've been looking for an everyday lipstick to wear and it doesn't seem like it dries your lips and it's, it's still matte and it has that nice finish to it. And it's just very natural looking, which is what I'm going for these days. <laughs> Feel free to leave comments down below on your favorite products if you tried them out or if you want me to try another brand, let me know. I love makeup. It's fun. The magic's in the makeup. I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> the magic's in the makeup. I need to go listen to some more Gwen Stefani now. I need to go listen to her music. I just need to do that for my soul while I'm wearing her makeup. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Tiffy and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.